Does your period wreak havoc on your IBS symptoms? Watch this video to find out why and what you can do to calm them both down. For the most helpful information you'll find about IBS online, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video every Friday. If you can't Stand it when your period and your IBS gang up on you. By the end of this video, you'll learn how they're connected and what you need to do to get them under control. I'm Wendy Lung, holistic health and happiness coach, licensed acupuncturist, and powerhouse IBS conqueror. And I remember exactly how terrible my own IBS could get. I teach my clients how to bust their IBS and finally get better, and now I'm sharing with you too. Last week, we talked about IBS symptoms in men, and today we're focusing on the ladies. Women make up two-thirds of the reported IBS population, and while there's not enough scientific data to say whether there's different IBS symptoms between men and women, we know that there's at least one major difference. Period time, aka menstruation. Ladies, have you ever noticed that your symptoms get worse during your period if you have IBSD, or miraculously better if you have IBSC? You're not alone, and you're also not imagining it. Does your IBS change before or during your period? Let me know by dropping a yes or a no in the comments below. In traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM for short, we know that your body is a symbiotic ecosystem. It's made up of a group of organ systems that work together to keep your body healthy. Each organ system has its own job and responsibilities, but they're connected to each other in a circuit. So if something goes wrong in one system, it can affect the others too. This means that symptoms in your body that are happening around the same time, whether physical, mental, or emotional, are related and connected to each other. Even if one's happening in your head, like a headache, and another's happening in your gut, like cramping. Sometimes it's cause and effect from one organ system to the next, but other times all of the symptoms are actually coming from one single organ that's out of balance. To get a more detailed explanation on how TCM organ systems actually work, check out the episode What is IBS and What Causes It? If you've been watching my channel, then you know that in TCM, IBS is a combination of an already weak gut and mental emotional stress. We sometimes call IBS liver invading spleen stomach because your weak gut is the TCM spleen stomach and the mental emotional stress comes from the TCM liver. Stress affects the TCM liver, which then goes and bullies the easiest target, which is your weak TCM spleen and stomach, causing all of the terrible IBS symptoms like constipation, diarrhea, extreme bloating, cramping pain, indigestion, smelly gas, and not smelly gas. Now, according to the International Foundation for Gastrointestinal Disorders in the US, women who have IBS also tend to struggle with gynecological issues, like painful periods, pelvic pain, and worse PMS symptoms like headache, fatigue, back pain, mood swings, and insomnia. Which makes sense, because the TCM liver is responsible for a lot of gynecological functions. So when that stress is affecting your liver, it's also directly having an impact on your gyno symptoms. So what can you do to keep your IBS in check during PMS and period time? The number one tip is to manage your stress. You might think that it's normal to be irritated, moody, crying about nothing the week before your period, but those emotional reactions are actually your body's way of telling you that it's out of balance. Like I mentioned earlier, when stress affects the TCM liver, the liver can bully everything else in the body, making your IBS worse and making your emotions run a bit haywire too. So the best thing to do in order to keep your TCM liver happy is to have a regular daily stress management practice. This might mean starting your day with positive affirmations or taking five minutes every morning, afternoon, and evening to sit in a quiet area and do some deep breathing or blocking off half a day every week for regular me time where you can do anything that feeds your soul, napping, painting, a stroll in the park, bath time, or even planning to take one day off a month during your PMS or period week so you're choosing to take that break instead of being forced to take one by your symptoms flaring out of control. Stress management is a long-term practice and it won't magically disappear your IBS overnight. 
But if you start small and you incorporate even one of these suggestions into your schedule, you'll be moving forward in the right direction. Now, if you need a quick fix, short-term solution to just calm your painful IBS symptoms for the moment, sign up for my newsletter and I'll send you my IBS massage instructions right to your inbox. The link is in the description box below. Now, I want you to know that you're not alone in your IBS struggle and that it's also absolutely possible to get it under control for good. A lot of the help that's out there focuses on diet management, but in today's episode, you saw exactly how much stress can wreak havoc on your IBS and on your health overall. So if you're ready to finally get healthy once and for all, come join my Conquer IBS Reignite Your Life mentorship program, where I'll guide you through the nutrition and diet, the stress, the mindset, and the overall health and wellness in order to get your IBS under control, put it behind you, and move on to have a healthy, happy life, just like I have. If you like this video, you know the drill. Let me know by liking it below, drop a comment with the word helpful, let me know what your biggest takeaway was. And make sure that you're sharing with your fellow IBS conquerors because I wanna spread the word that IBS is not a forever thing and you guys can beat this together. I have so much more to share with you about all things IBS, so make sure that you're staying tuned, you're subscribing to my channel, and that you're hitting that bell so that you get those notifications every Friday whenever I post a new video.